Rotate your phone. Okay, apparently I can't record the other way. <laughs> I was trying to hold my phone horizontally as they tell you to and the iPhone and all of its wisdom said, turn your phone so you can record. So here I am recording and live actually and just talking about the phone. How are you today? I wanted to pop in and just have a little uh, conversation with you. I'm on one sided at this point, but please feel free to message me with any questions or thoughts as I go along. But listen, are you struggling to make a decision? Or do you struggle with decisions overall? And what does that have to do with anxiety? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about today. I was thinking this morning and actually journaling about this a little bit because listen, if you're a procrastinator, you're not alone. I raise my hand and you know, if you are a procrastinator, go ahead and raise your hand in the comments below. But we tend to, if you're like me, you tend to get really down on yourself when you procrastinate or when you struggle with decision making and I do the same thing. So that was on my mind this morning and I thought, you know what, I just have to come on here and, and talk because I, I, I firmly believe I'm talking to somebody, right? It's for me, but it's for you too. So if, if that's you, then keep listening. We need to give ourselves a break because first of all, procrastination and even indecision, y'all, even indecision is a stress response. Our stress response gets triggered and our system is constantly telling us to go to the path of least resistance, to go with the, the calm and easy thing. And my child is trying to show me a chip. You are trying to show me a chip? No, okay. Um, so our system wants us to go where it's safe, where it's comfortable, and that's why oftentimes we will find that it's difficult for us to make a decision because we're afraid. We're either, either afraid of being right or wrong in any given instance, right? And that's another reason why we procrastinate because we're, again, it's just the worry and the anxiety about doing the thing or that, that possibility of failure or success, both can be scary. So what do we do? You know, we're anxious, we're stressed, we're, let's talk about indecision mostly today. We're indecisive, we can't make the decisions because we're like, I don't know, will it be right? Will it be wrong? Will, am, am I making this decision out of fear? Am I making this decision um, based on the facts? Like what, what is the deal here? I want you to think of one thing, one thing when you're trying to make a decision. And it's this, fear holds no possibilities. You can, you can pinpoint whether or not you're doing something out of fear or avoiding something out of fear just by looking at it and saying, okay, if I say no to this or if I say yes to this, am I limiting myself? Fear will keep you frozen, will keep you hidden away. You will be limited by fear. Growth holds possibilities. So if you're making a decision based on your growth, and the way I like to look, think about growth is, and how to make decisions based on growth, is to think about my expansion, right? When we think about growing, we think about getting taller or, or just um, even our mind growing, you know, and expanding. And that's what I, I think about. I think about like stepping outside my front door into the beautiful outdoors. The outdoors is expansive. The inside is closed in, right? I don't want to be indoors when I'm making decisions. I want the whole wide world in front of me. And that is a growth perspective. So when we're making decisions based on growth, it's going to expand and there are going to be a number of possibilities for you. So thinking about why you're going to make a decision and, and looking at it from the fear factor and the growth factor 
And if you're looking at it and there's no possibilities, you can be 100% sure that you've made that decision based in fear. And if you look at it in the growth perspective, and there are plenty of possibilities, plenty of ways that this could turn out, that is making your decisions based on a growth perspective. And that is, that is the way to go. Now, we'll talk more about what that feels like because it doesn't always feel great. Remember, your system is constantly trying, your stress response is trying to keep you safe. So sometimes if you're looking to expand, right? You open the front door and you walk out and there's this beautiful, vast world in front of you. Your brain's not used to some of that though. It's like, are you sure you wanna go that way? Are you sure that's risky, that's tricky? So it doesn't always feel easy and that's resistance and that's okay. And we'll talk more about resistance, but this growth, there's always resistance with growth. And so you will, you may feel a little uneasy even making a decision based on the growth perspective, but that's okay. Because think about when you were younger and you had growing pains. You know, my, my four boys, it's any given Sunday and everyone's like, my legs hurt. And I'm thinking, oh man, growth spurt, you know? Or even the birds in our nests all around our property here, it's, it's like the little chicks coming out of the eggs, they meet with resistance. But once they're through, there's this whole new life. And so consider that when you are making decisions or when you're avoiding making decisions, you know, take that, that frame and say, okay, am I frozen in fear? Is that why I'm not making this decision? Or what are the opportunities for growth here? And what can I, what are my possibilities? And then you can feel that resistance, but you push forward and the whole world world opens up to you. So I hope that helps. And just to provide some new perspective and maybe you knew about that, but you hadn't thought about it in that way before. And I, so I hope you find this very empowering, very freeing. And you know, anxiety is normal. It's natural. It's our, it's our system that wants to protect us. And so the best thing to do is say, thank you. Thank you for trying to keep me safe. I'm gonna go ahead, I know what I'm doing here, and then make your decision, meet the resistance, move forward and grow. Okay, friends, I look forward to talking to you again soon. Hi to Laura and hi to Jason. Gosh, I, I can't talk and read at the same time, so. <laughs> so for everybody else who's like popped in while I was talking to, hi to you all i look forward to talking to you again soon and sharing more about opportunities for growth and expansion and how we can befriend our anxiety and move forward and and not have to be frozen in fear if you have any questions or comments leave them below and in the meantime you can check out sarahfalkcoaching.com and get the resources see what i'm up to i i owe you a blog post it's been a while so uh i look forward to talking to you again here on the website very soon and until then friends peace